All right, um, Friendswood, Texas. Uh, we're just past uh, Wedgwood Elementary on Friendswood Link looking out. I guess this would be west. Um, this is like two blocks from my house. Uh, so I'm going to do like a panoramic, uh, maybe halfway. Okay, there's some homes right there. All right, I guess the water level is about three quarters to the roofs on those guys. That house right there, again, probably a couple of feet. Uh, stop sign right there. And there's a house right there that's uh, probably a couple of few feet in that house. And there's the um, local, uh, looks like a convenience store and maybe a salon right there. Actually, it's a convenience store. Yeah, I remember. Uh, we go get uh, little odds and ends there. Uh, so anyway, Friendswood Link Road. Um, okay, panoramic. So these houses are obviously pretty uh, few feet of water in these houses right here. This is Friendswood Link Road. Uh, just across the, uh, one of the fences uh, adjacent uh, neighborhoods. Okay, so we're looking back towards Wedgwood Elementary on Friendswood Link Road. I'm standing up in uh, knee-deep water right now over here. So we're looking back toward the car wash and toward Wedgwood. Of course, you can't see it very well from this vantage, uh, but we're looking towards Wedgwood School, and there's a bunch of people probably wondering how crazy I am, because uh, I guess I am. All right, so check. Here's my knee-deep water. All right, here's my... Uh, my sexy middle-aged knees ha 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 all right so uh i guess um i talked to one of the guys up there they have like uh food for 1200 people and they're waiting for a boat to pull up over here and cross this uh, path and take it to a, a high school down there somewhere in uh, friendswood uh, or maybe somewhere down there i don't know exactly where he just told me so i don't know where so anyway let's do a panoramic to the left here all right trees are all waterlogged here like I said I'm in knee-deep water over here on the Friendswood link okay let's, let's start walking forward I gotta watch my step and of course it might be you know snakes alligators who knows but we can handle those because uh, I'm from the swamp <laughs> all right okay rain's kind of picking up I don't want the phone to die on me but uh, I might pause this um, if it gets too wet all right here you can see me walking in this knee-deep water again that's a sidewalk I'm walking on that's knee-deep uh, we're walking towards Wedgwood Elementary on Friendswood Link like I said you can see the car wash to the right or that the daycare center right there also and a couple of guys waiting on boats to bring some food to some of the local high schools all right we'll pause here and pick up uh, later perhaps if uh, my camera goes right all right, a little bit further down uh, Friendswood Link, I was in that pile of water right there where all, past where all those boats are and where those uh, thick trees start coming up. Uh, a couple of guys, a couple of girls out there probably bringing a bunch of uh, relief supplies to local high school. All right, so it's dry a little bit starting about right there straight ahead on the camera. Uh, anyway, just the, those of you who might want to take a look at this to see what's going on on this sort of side of town, I'll just do a panoramic here. Okay, now get out of the rain here, and I'm going to point the camera towards Wedgwood Elementary. Alright, so I'm pointing the camera in the, the vicinity of Wedgwood Elementary. Uh, there's a bunch of people out there, um, I don't know, directing traffic, I guess, and warning people don't go any further because uh, you can't go. Um, basically, where I was standing in the water previously, uh, you don't want a car to go there. Uh, and then further just gets depth, or, you know, feet. You can't even get there with a... <laughs> with a uh, probably an 18 wheeler you can't get there so anyway we're gonna pause here and uh, walk a few more streets for those of you who are interested in uh, knowing what's going on I'll try to help out here with the film pause all right um, again I'm a little bit further down the road I'm right in front of Wedgwood Elementary on Hibiscus Lane and Friendswood Link uh, those of you who want to know exactly where I'm at 66 16600 uh, block of Hibiscus there I'm standing here. Those of you who have homes down here, you want to know what's going on, I'm just going to swing through here. Probably most of you already still at home. I don't know who evacuated here. Anyway, we'll swing towards Wedgwood Elementary, which is the shelter. So, uh, yeah, it's just like they're still pulling people out of there a little bit, bringing food uh, across the creek. Anyway, Wedgwood Elementary School, here's uh, the shelter. I have, oh, I think, reports about over 200 people in there. Uh, I would think more, but anyway. Okay, looking down Friendswood Link. Uh, we're not too flooded here on, on uh, Forest Bend where I live. Um, 
you might be able to get a truck through there, but probably not a car. Um, Alright, I'm hearing some boats in the back over there, so I might take a walk down Hibiscus, and if there's anything of note, I'll take a couple of film shots. Let's pause here. Alright, Hibiscus Lane in... Let's see what the sign says. Towns Forest, yeah. Hibiscus Lane in Towns Forest, 4100 Towns Forest. Hibiscus, yeah, we're pretty, uh, well, it seems like some guys trying to drop uh, some people off to check their stuff out. I guess this, all this area probably got pretty flooded during the, the maximum uh, Friday night and Saturday. So looking down the road, um, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty bad. I don't even know if I can walk too far down there, but, uh, we're, uh, I'm going to walk a little bit here just to see how far I can get safely. Uh, can't get too unsafe because everybody's being rescued and more important, uh, uh, situations than I am just walking around taking film so all right so that's hibiscus in towns forest okay shit I've been living here for two years and I don't know this area very well all right so uh, those of you who have houses down here you can uh, I don't know take note all right hibiscus Sounds for us. All right. Yeah, it looks like uh, the. I mean, the uh, water level is not as high right now as it was yesterday. So, a lot of these places probably got waterlogged pretty bad yesterday. Okay, looking down Hibiscus from Towns Forest at the 4100 block. Okay. All right. Some more. Uh, so I'm gonna keep my phone wet and my feet though. Firmly planted on the wet sidewalk, we should be all right. All right. Yeah, it looks like the water rose here. Look, if that's the maximum height of the water, these guys probably didn't get flooded too bad, but probably further down the road, maybe five houses down, I would imagine. It's a bit, uh, a bit worse. See, I'm kind of walking in about ankle deep water there. Further down there, I'll see some cars that are flooded out way further down there. But it's a, they're closer to the creek down there, so these guys got waterlogged, but they got cars out in the street. Alright. Okay, uh, this is Hibiscus and what else? Uh, Lucian? Hibiscus and Lucian, there's a sign right there. Alright. So um, if you look this way, you could tell this the roads are flowing almost like a um, creek or a slow fast moving bayou or something so anyway this is looking up uh, down the street here against friendswood texas um not too far from my house maybe three quarters of a mile a mile from my house um this is looking down the road again i'll zoom in a little bit for those of you who got your home down there so there we go sweep this way that way, okay. I'm gonna zoom a pan again. All right, we do a. I can't go any further. It's kind of dangerous. So we've got float currents right there, so you get your foot stuck in front of a car or something, you can break your leg. See that uh, current flowing next to that truck right there? I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. See that current? So yeah, you don't want to get your legs stuck in a current like that. Uh, your vehicles are trash, so I'm not gonna go in there unless it's less than two feet. Um, I don't know the name of that street out there, so I'll zoom in so you can see the sign. Whatever that sign is, I can't see it through my glasses, but uh, maybe the film should get it. Alright. Let's we'll start walking back.
Yeah, people on my YouTube channel asking me about, hey man, can you go check on my house? I was like, well, I ain't doing nothing at my house. So I just walk in, film and post it and see if they can see their houses. Maybe. Some of them are like in Dallas asking about their homes, you know. I'm gonna pause here. There you go, we're a truck passing. Let's film a truck passing, right? Check that out. I might sound hella stupid, but we're all right. <laughs> they look like they're just fine with those big uh, tires and those high uh, high axles. <laughs> a bunch of kids in there too. All right. Well, you take care, man. I'm gonna keep on walking. Like we're at the Wedgewood uh, shelter now. I think it looks like some military, probably National Guard trucks show up with the sheriff and the police over here, media. Pretty cool. Yes, we're about, what, 200 plus stayed last night, maybe more. Yep, I think they're doing donations here. Um, yep. Come back for that. Local donations. Parting them in. Yeah, looks like we got some military guys or National Guard coming in. Or maybe military wannabes, who knows? Anybody. This is adjacent property to my house. Like, my property touches this school. So, another shot. Like I said, a bunch of National Guard trucks or some military and then a police uh, truck in the front. A bit of media, police, and it's got to be a National Guard, I'm assuming. Donations coming in. Pause. All right. Uh, Friendswood, Texas, still. We're on the intersection of David Glenn and Towns Forest, uh, 3900 Town Forest, uh, the block. Uh, just getting some shots out here. If you guys got houses, who knows? Maybe you want to know about them. All right, looking down uh, Towns Forest, east. Got a panoramic here. Yeah, it's like a dip right there. It looks like cars can't get through, but it's okay for trucks. So. We can walk through. So my rule of thumb is if it's knee deep, I'm good. If it's deeper than knee deep, I turn back. All right. I guess it's not as much devastation. Looks like a kind of hill here. So um, again, the floods are not as high right now as they were um, Saturday morning. And